8% of CEOs who have a learning and development plan in place do not see a business impact, and 4% report not finding any true ROI coming out of the program. When money is being wasted, you either find a solution and fast, or you get rid of the low-performing tool. In HR's case, you know the importance of having a learning and development plan in place. The solution? Identify holes in your current plan and figure out how you're going to fill them. Step one, look into your performance management system. Effective performance management software gives executives a look into every area of every employee's performance levels. Evaluate company-wide data to find areas of weakness. Doing so allows leaders to pinpoint fields of common struggle, giving your team a starting point for reassessment. This process works on an individual level too, but will be analyzed during the performance management process. Step two, using reviews to discover individual strengths and initiative. Studies by office team show 76% of employees polled said they had no interest in having their manager's position and 65% believe they couldn't do a better job than their boss. To make sure you're actually giving promotions to the right employees, just ask. Pretty simple, right? Weave training into your review and assessment processes to identify strengths, reveal potential successors, and use training as a retention incentive. It's incredibly frustrating to hand projects and assignments off to employees that are ill-equipped to perform the task. Imagine having an entire team produce the same disappointing results. Grab hold of your learning and development success by reaching out to your team for more assistance. Ready for the final step? Take on part eight in our next video where we dig into the importance of a formal offboarding process.